Sean, you designed this home a number of years ago and it's beautifully done. Can you tell us a, a little bit about it and, and your experience with it? This is a very special home for a couple of reasons. The one is it is one of our first houses in Paddington. It is also for repeat clients, so we had had a wonderful experience of working with them and learning about them and how to work with them. And we're given an enormously free brief. So, you know, when you mix that sort of fusion, you get a house that's put together in the way that it's conceived. It gets built to the highest standard. All of our subcontractors were used. And coming back here after, you know, what has been eight or nine years since I was last in the house, it feels fresh, it feels relevant, it feels current, and you know, it's still an absolutely wonderful home and a wonderful piece of architecture in our opinion. And Sean, this one's a, an integration of the traditional Queenslander style facade yeah. with a modern extension at the back. Yeah. How, how do you integrate these two different styles and make them feel somewhat seamless? You have a very clear understanding about the interests of the client because that can change and shape these things very differently. But then also try to have a very clear vision about how these things work and look like long term. Once again, I think there is a temptation for people to get theatrical about architecture and to kind of get willful and very playful, which is fine. Here we wanted to do something that was considerate of a hundred years of history and then design it in such a way that the extension and all the, the work that came after would be able to be looked at in the future and as a piece of timeless architecture. And that's felt when once you walk through this home. Is there a, a feature of this home that you would consider to be one of your favourite features? You know, there's a, there's a very uh, strong sense of long linearity in the house and historically one tends to have an open section at the back, an open section at the front and the house can be quite enclosed in the middle. Whereas here, because we're elevated and the way the site falls down, you've got a beautiful opening uh, to the east and um, that opens up to you know lovely natural light and there's a sense of openness and transparency in the key living spaces. And even up in the second living room and in the stair void, there's a really lovely theatrical sense of light. 